With private, personal pension plans taking over from collective schemes, the burden of financial risk is being placed squarely on us as individuals. Of course, we all hope for a large pot of gold at the end of our retirement rainbow. But taking his financial future into his own hands has dealt Dennis Mountford's pension pot a crushing blow. Partially sighted and in his early 70s, Dennis was targeted by a salesman from a company called PCD, advising him to move the pension he'd been investing in for 30 years. They claimed they invested a moderately cautious investment, that it was regulated, so the firm sounded quite respectable. So I decided to go ahead with this and the agent, the financial advisor, came back with a lot of forms which I went through um, because I'm registered blind. He read most of them to me. Dennis thought his pension was being safely invested. But a few months later, he learnt the salesman had taken a 4% commission from the entire pot of £120,000. I knew I hadn't signed it with that 4% on. Uh, and in fact, we saw this same financial advisor a couple of days later. We told him that it was definitely not there when I signed it. And he did eventually agree that that was the case that had been added. To add insult to injury, a further 6% in commission was taken from Dennis's savings when they were invested in an offshore fund. So PCD had taken 10% of Dennis's entire pension pot in the space of just a few weeks. We've learnt that in the last 18 months, PCD has persuaded at least 200 people, either in or nearing retirement, to move their pension pots to offshore investments. Each time, PCD would take 10% of their clients' pension pots, earning the firm nearly £2 million in commission. So who's behind PCD? Well, this is the address given to clients who sign their savings over. In reality, this is just a mailbox address. There's no actual office here. Just a few minutes away is PCD's real address, which appears in official records at Companies House and they've gone from here too. The landlord chucked them out, but we've got another address in Birmingham. It turns out it's for a small bungalow on a typical residential street. Well, the landlord told us that they were there earlier this year, but left after about six weeks without paying their rent. We couldn't find a current address. But we did discover PCD is owned by IAW, a company based in Cyprus. It's licensed by the UK regulator to sell insurance, not pensions. IAW, in turn, is owned by the same man who owns this company, De Vere Group. And De Vere are based here in Knightsbridge, just a few hundred yards from Harrods. They sell financial products all around the world, and commission is king. We've managed to track down some internal documents that show just how well the business is doing. Now, from this, we can see that his top salesmen were earning over £200,000 in commission in the first three months of this year. PCD and De Vere are both owned by this man, Nigel Green. He wouldn't give us an interview. Instead, he gave us a statement saying he's no longer a director of IAW and had never played an active role in the day-to-day -day running of the company. He said IAW had acted properly in bringing their concerns about PCD to the attention of the authorities as soon as it became aware that allegations had been made. The Financial Services Authority won't comment on an ongoing investigation. PCD's elderly victims have been left to count their losses. I shall have to just carry on working for a bit longer, perhaps. We live quite modestly, so I think we can probably survive, but um, it, it's very angry, of course, that other people are making money out of uh, my th odd 30 years of hard investments. The FSA watchdog is trying to solve the problem of rogue companies like PCD. From 2013, financial advisors will be banned from earning commissions. Instead, they will only charge flat fees up front, so there will be no financial incentive for them to put investors with a poorly performing fund.